Get out, mates. <laughs> Oi! Pipe down. Thank you. Get out, mates. I, uh, Resmed just released their third quarter financial results for 2022. I listened to the analyst conference call right in the beginning where old sexy Mick goes, we're releasing our new card to cloud CPAP machine. And I was like, what the hell is this card to cloud? They've got a new machine out already. What's going on? But no, it's not a new machine. It's very, very old stuff. So what's happened is this. One of the major bottlenecks, one of the major component shortages is the 3G, 4G cellular modems. They just can't get them fast enough. So what they've decided to do is just not put them in machines at all. So there's going to be a whole bunch of ResMed AirSense 10 and AirSense 11 machines out there that just don't have, I'm not sure if it's the AirSense 11, I'm pretty, maybe it's just the AirSense 10, but whatever it is, there's gonna be a whole bunch of these machines out there that literally have no data communication capabilities. They've just got the SD card, but they're calling it card to cloud. But basically what it is, is you gotta take your SD card, take it over to your clinic, the clinic has to put it in the computer, and then they do a manual upload to Airview, to the cloud. That's that's what we're dealing with now. We've gone back to the Stone Ages. There must be an on button somewhere. To press the Apple thing. Luckily for you guys, as I've said before, you don't have to do that. We've got sleephq.com, my cloud-based platform, which is 10 times better than Airview, and you can put your SD card in your own computer and send it straight up to the cloud without having to visit a clinic. How good is that? But I found that fascinating. ResMed, the number one market leader, is now building out machines that have absolutely no data transfer capabilities apart from the SD card. Crazy, the market leaders. ResMed's game plan is they just want to get machines into people's hands. They don't care if they've got data capabilities or anything because now is the golden time that they get those machines into people's hands and get as much market share as they possibly can. So all of you guys with the AirSense 10 machines with those 3G modems that are no longer transmitting data because the major cell carriers have shut down the 3G network, don't feel so bad because ResMed is now manufacturing devices that don't even have modems in them, all right? So don't feel too bad about that. The other thing I took out of that conference call is, yeah, those supply chain and component shortages, they're not easing up anytime soon. So in terms of bringing in more supply of machines to those people who need them, those wait times are still gonna be there well into 2023 if you're wanting a ResMed device. And unfortunately, like they said on the conference call, you're just gonna, if you want one, you're just gonna to have to wait for it. That's, that's all you can do, all right? They're talking sort of weeks to months, but potentially longer. Anyway, guys, that's it. Have yourselves a great day. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out sleephq.com. We're making some major updates this weekend. Have a good one, bye. No way, compadre. We got 30 years worth of files right here in this computer that are gonna bring you down. Oh no. Ah, damn! Where'd all the files go?